Hello and welcome back to the new lesson in which I'll show you that how you can set up a domain and connect it with a hosting. I'll recommend getting a hosting from Fast Comment or SiteGround. These are the two best and trusted websites for getting a hosting. So here you can see we are getting a managed WordPress hosting and here we get one click WordPress installation. So let's click on WordPress hosting and let me show you that what is offered in SiteGround hosting to you. If you are a beginner, you should go with the startup plan as it is cheap and you'll not get a lot of traffic to your website in the first month. So it offers enough for a beginner. It will offer you one website, 10 GB of web space, 10,000 visits monthly, unmetered traffic, free WordPress installation, WordPress auto updates, free SSL. So this is a very important point and every hosting charges you for uh, giving an SSL. And let me just show you that what is the meaning of SSL. Let's go to Amazon.com and here in the top you can see that here's a green padlock on the Amazon website and it says that your connection is secure. So this is what an SSL certificate is. It makes your website secure and many hostings will charge you for that and Google has already said that it does not promote website which does not have an SSL. So SiteGround is giving you a free SSL and I recommend you to go for it. As I'm using the fast comment hosting and I have brought the SiteGround domain to show you the interfaces of both the websites. I'll show you in the future videos that how you can get a free SSL if you have any domain or any hosting and it will make your website fast also as it is a CDN that is a content delivery network. I'll explain you these terms in the future videos and let's go and get a plan and move ahead in our course. Here you can see I have chosen the grow big plan. And here in the second part, you have to register a new domain. So for that, let's uh, take a domain, something like best, amazing, Amazon deals.com. I've already told you that how you can choose a domain in the previous video. If you have not seen, just go and see it and then come back to this video. It will take 15.95 dollars for you to register a domain with SiteGround and it's pretty less if you are starting out and you can take it from here only but if you want more cheaper options then you should probably go and take a domain from GoDaddy and these websites also offer you cheap domains. So for this video and tutorial, I'll just take an domain from here. So let's click on proceed. And as you can see, it's loading. And then after it, it will ask you to put your account information, client information, payment information, purchase information. And you can see that it is for a period of 12 months. And I'll be billed a total of $87 with a year of hosting and a year of domain. And the plan I've chosen is the grow big. That is $5.95 per month. So I think the site ground hosting is pretty good. And let me just log in to my client area and show you the interface of SiteGround. Now as we have got the domain, let's go and get the hosting from fastcomet.com. You have to go there and you have to select plans and pricing. Here you will see three options. Shared hosting, cloud VPS hosting and dedicated CPU servers. You have to go for shared hosting because cloud VPS hostings and dedicated CPU servers are used by websites like Amazon, which receive a large amount of traffic daily. 
So as you are a beginner, you will not receive that much traffic and hence you should go for the shared hosting plan. When you have selected the plan you would like, click on get started button. And as we have already bought a domain, you have to select on I already have a domain and give your domain name. And then you have to click on use this domain. You'll see I receive an error because I already have an account with this domain name. But you will not get an error and you will then have to pay and you will be redirected to your client area which is this. Now as we have bought everything let's go and connect the domain with the hosting in your site ground dashboard. Now I have logged in to my site ground dashboard and let me just show you the interface. Here, first of all, on the home page, you get nothing much important, success tips and suggestions, recent blog posts. And in the next tab we go, we see that all the websites we have managed or uh, we have registered with SiteGround. Here you can see I have not taken the hosting with SiteGround as I wanted to show you that how you can connect any domain with another hosting using name servers. So here you can see that I have a collaborations option too where different people can come and collaborate with me, do some changes or if you are hiring a freelancer to do your work, you can give them a collaboration mm -hmm. access and they can do whatever you need. So here in the services option, you can see hosting tabs and domain tabs, which is pretty much like the website tab. And here's the billing option. Here's the, all the information, your card information and whatever is saved. Here is the referrals tab. And uh, SiteGround gives you a referral bonus too. If a friend signs up with your link, you get a three months free hosting added to one of your web hosting account. Here you can see your link. It also has an affiliate system where it gives you commissions for a sale. And the next is the marketplace tab where you can see domain services, hosting services and partner perks. So let's go ahead and connect our domain with Fast Comet hosting using name servers. So first of all, I have to go to domain section on the services tab and then I have to click on manage. You'll get a manage option in each of your hostings. When I click on manage, you can see that you get all the information you have registered with on your domain settings tab and here you can see the name servers it is ns1.guio1087.siteground.us it can be unique or it would be same as mine and then what the name servers do is if you are using a name server of fast comet and the domain is of siteground and if you just edit the server and put it to a fast comet server then your website will point to the fast comet hosting and then you can use all the features of fast comet hosting with your site ground domain so that's how it works let's go ahead and find out the name servers of the fast comet account here you can see products domains billing support observer and order i'll go to the domain section and as you can see i have no domain right now here so now let's move ahead and connect the domain with the hosting and in fast comet i'll go on the home page 
here I can see my active products. I'll click on manage and view details. You'll also get all these options in all other hosting providers. Here you can see name server one and name server two. And if I go to my domain provider that is SiteGround here also I see these name servers. So what these name servers do is if I replace the name servers here on Fast Comet with the name servers on SiteGround, my domain will point to Fast Comet hosting. And let's do this by copying it. And here you can see name server one. You have to paste it here and you have to paste the second name server too. And here you have to click on confirm. It will load for a while and then it will show you a success page that your name servers have been edited. As you can see, the name servers have been changed. And now you have to go to the C panel of your website. And I'll just enter the master password, which you'll also get when you will be buying the hosting. And now you can see that your website has been properly configured. And you'll see that here's no valid certificate is being showing as we have not made the SSL certificate for our website yet, which I'll show you in the next videos.